And welcome to your Gold Market Update for today, Tuesday the 23rd of August 2022. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gold Markets here to give you a wander around what's happening in financial markets today. Let's have a look at what's come across the news wires. Of course, US equities continued their sell-off overnight on rising bond deals and hawkish Fed expectations. Remember, Jerome Powell is doing the keynote speech at the Jackson Hole Symposium, which starts on Thursday where we get a little bit of a deeper dive into what Fed thinking may be after hawkish comments from other Fed members last week. US futures are mildly positive in Asian session, but only just above neutral. And Asian indices are following that weaker US lead from last night for the second day on the spin. ASX is down around 0.6% in early trading. European futures, however, are also suggesting a slightly higher open at this stage. One of the major stories of the last week has been the US dollar index. This has breached 20-year highs, but is slightly softer today. The euro, quite remarkably, is now less than parity, meaning that a euro is worth less than $1. Gold has broken short-term support at 1765 and is now testing the important 1740 level. Oil is moving back upwards towards that upper level of the short-term range. It's been trading for the last couple of weeks or so. So that bounce back up towards $100 looks important. Copper is holding over the key 360 level and we're not surprisingly on that equity market weakness over the last couple of days. We're seeing the VIX bounce off six month lows to hit the key 25 level in today's trading. Bitcoin has been the other big story of the week that's continued to sell off and is now testing 21,000 support down in excess of 15% over the last couple of days or so. As we've said, Jackson Hall Symposium is important uh, later in the week, but today focus is on global PMI numbers. Remember, of course, there is a narrative of this soft economic landing and data is missing expectations so far today. The Australian Japanese numbers are already out and are softer than expected. We do have data coming out of the Eurozone, Germany, UK and the US later. We'll need to see a slight improvement in this, otherwise this market negativity may continue. We've also got some US housing data due also. A couple of charts of interest to have a look at. Uh, first, we're going to look at PLS in the lithium space. Remember, this sector has been our favourite over the last month or so, and you can see it continues to rise. This has been helped by some positive earnings today out of PLS and you can see this has resulted in a trend continuation. We did pull back towards this 290 level but the last couple of days have been very strong and we can see this strong candle today trading towards the top of the session. Looks as though a move back up to 360 is very much on the cards with PLS. Let's have a look at the Euro US. As we said, we've breached parity and now we're at lows not seen since 2002. You can see there we're at 99.40. Very little to pin our hat on in terms of where this might go. But you can see there, even on the 30 minute chart, we don't look very solid there. And so this level here at 99.25 is one that we're watching as a potential level of support. If we break through that, we suspect that this may precipitate some more selling pressure. So one to watch throughout the day. We, if we do get a bounce, there is a fair 40 to 50 pips to take us back up to parity again. But this stage within this tight range. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.